Video games. Video games. They're so much fun. There we go. Good pitch. I want to get on a soapbox so bad. <laughs> about video games. I've just been... Go! Talk about video games right now. Brutal, man. Talk about uh, talk about what all of us is trying to do with video games, my friend. Well, I'm just having a such a difficult time right now. Lay it on I, me. I think the reason is because we just started, uh, as you know, we just started streaming on YouTube. Right? Yep. And so I had been before now up until like probably a month, oh, maybe two no. months ago. Like, oh, uh, is Tanaka toast? Did we just lose him? No, what we're doing is we're actually in the middle of a rain delay. Ah, that's really cool, actually. Right. I'm glad that they had that in. Yeah. That's cool. So, back to my little rant ski. So, up until about two months ago, I had a completely different purpose for YouTube. So, I would go to YouTube to watch, like, not, not even watch, but listen to, like, chill step videos to just have in the background while I studied for school and stuff. Or I would go to YouTube if I, like, needed to. Like, the other night, the my toilet, like, just started flushing repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. And so I was like, okay, it's 1 o'clock in the nice morning. Play. I'm going to get up on, look at YouTube and figure out, like, how do you fix your toilet? I fixed the toilet. It was... Not that difficult, but it was one in the morning, and I was like a little frustrated about it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Anyways, I used it for you know like tutorial things, or I would go there specifically in gaming to figure something out. Like I knew I was like I want like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, uh, this specific quest, right? And like I'm having trouble with this one specific thing, right? And so it was it was just I went to YouTube for a specific purpose. Now. Since we are producing content on YouTube, I'm getting this much wider scope because I'm caring less about what I want to go there for YouTube for and more about what the YouTube audience itself is saying about content that's being made. Preach. Like, right now, we're so young. Like, we love any of you guys that are watching. We really appreciate it. Like, any subs, likes, comments, we... like. We're small. If you comment, we'll write you a page back. Like, we want to be in communication with you. Like, this is the best time to create a, a real personal relationship with us before we get, you know, too big to... Well, hopefully we never get too big. But at some point, every YouTuber that really makes it big kind of has a hard time being personal with their entire audience, right? So we want that. And so now I'm getting into this, like, scope of taking in from a content developer's point of view what YouTube is kind of about and a lot of it is critique a lot of what it is is game review I've been watching these videos about like these people that are getting blacklisted like they like EA or whatever other you know big whatever sorry well no, whatever no, no, other big you. Um, AAA or you know game developer they'll put out a game and before it comes out they'll send it they'll send it to these big time YouTubers and say hey we want a review from you if the YouTuber gives them a negative review they'll get blacklisted and they won't get the game again which hurts their YouTube channel hurts their player base because their player base is now expecting them to like get this inside information and when they don't then they go to a different YouTuber and so they're like kind of like blackmailing them into like saying positive things about their games. I'm not about it. I'm also like really not about just straight up like negativity for with no constructive purpose. Like Amen. Will and I, we are here to learn. We're here to, and we're we're gonna have struggles. Like we we, you we know, literally we like we just to be transparent. We literally had a struggle before we went live right on stream we today. today. But, straight up. But you know what? It's about getting through those things and and not letting that boil over into your audience. That's right, right? into like, your passion. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm super mad for something <laughs> that happened two hours ago and you're gonna feel it. You know, like, that's not what that's not what this is for. That's not what you're here for. If you want, maybe that is like the drama and like the catch, like have the thumbnail that's like, I'm pissed at the world. Like put this picture on the thumbnail. That one. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Like, I see a lot of that, and it really kind of, like, 
disheartens me a little teeny bit because like I want people to to try to help each other and that's not helping the developers that's not going to create a community and an environment for people to grow in like the content development team that's trying to put out patches like they're I, maybe I'm just being idealistic but I don't think that they're just going we don't care about anybody that plays this game and we're going to do whatever we want to do and we're going to do this because we want to do this. and even if they do do that you have no control over it well put there's nothing you can do right so like if you're going to just like yell and be upset and like spread the negativity you're hurting yourself and your own community you're not touching the developer you know what I mean? Like, if you put out a positive, constructive video, maybe they'll listen to you and they'll be like, you know what, this guy, this guy really cares about us. And this, but if you're like, this game sucks, I want it changed right now. Like, nope, they're gonna be like, uh, you're blacklisted. Yeah. Right? Bring, we're bring we're not gonna give you our game early. We don't want you to write a review. We don't want to hear from you at all. You're making us look bad. Like, why would they collaborate with you? There's no reason. That's not how relationships work. Like, you have to give, right? And, like, I'm learning a lot about this right now, and I really am trying. And I'm seeing this now from a different perspective through YouTube and through my personal relationships and things. But, like, there is a way to go to ballot where you can hear the audience or you can hear the developer or you can maybe not hear them but see it. Like, if they put out a patch and they change something, it's because they wanted to. Like, they didn't put it out to hate you. They didn't put it out to be like, what? I, hear, I hear what they want. I'm going to do the opposite no. to make them mad so they don't play my game that no. I spent uh, 500,000 hours developing. It, the logic there, I don't think is... Super, it ceases to exist. Yeah, I don't think it's super sound. Like, you know, I think there's a lot of feedback rolling there. So, what I would prompt you to do is to try to keep a level head and if you don't like the game like come up with a constructive way try to collaborate reach out don't just put out like a video saying youtube community this game sucks like make a video and send it to the developer like hey guys like i think he, i've put a lot of time into this i really care about it like i love your game like i want it to thrive i want it to be around so i can continue to play it like if this game dies i don't get to play it anymore because nobody else is gonna play it like so killing your own game is not gonna benefit you that's so, right so yeah so go out and like try to reach out to the developer directly or just like enjoy the game how it is because you're playing it because you liked it at some point and if you're burnt out because you just continue to play the same game play a different game that's right you know find find a different community that's gonna lift you up and spark you and make you feel the way that you did when you first started playing that game that you now hate that's right you know like make a change live your life in transition where you're continuing to seek a better life for yourself don't yeah. yeah don't be stagnant in this place where you're like i'm unable to change and so i'm gonna keep everyone where i am and as every as as other people do change it creates a greater and greater contrast between where i'm at and where they're at and i'm not closing the gap by sitting here and being negative so I, that's just kind of like my rant to the youtube community like I want to be a part of this community. Will and I are trying to break into this community and like be a positive force here. And we want you guys to like, really, I want to know what you think about that. Like, do you guys care about that at all? Like, is this something that belongs in YouTube? Are we in the wrong space? Or is this something that YouTube really needs and you guys are thirsting for and you really want? And like, should we put out more positive content like this because there is a space there is a gap in the market there is niche uh positive space for us to grow in or does it not exist like is it just this like kind of toxic place where people go to just rant on what they hate about and then they go back and they play the game and they enjoy it or don't enjoy it but yeah 
Yes. So let me know. Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Like, it means a lot to me, okay? Indeed. Thanks. Well said, Brian. Very well said, man. Yeah. Back it's, to the game. It's, it's I'm you sorry. Know, not, to, not to put my two cents in it as well, too, but I mean, like, if you're not having fun, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. If you're not having fun, go have fun. If the game isn't satisfying, find something that is. That's just basically reiterating Brian's point, guys. If you're here to play a game to have fun and you're not having fun, you are not part of the solution by telling everyone about how much fun you're not having. You can now, what I'm saying is that you can have personal conversations on the side and be like, hey, Brian, you know, it just doesn't scratch the itch for me because use this phrase, it's not my kind of game. Don't say that it sucks. It's not your kind of game. And guess what? That's okay. That's why there's choice, guys. Not to be paralyzed by choice, but the fact is is that you have that option to make yourself happy, to choose something that makes you happy. So exploit it. Utilize it. Have fun with it. And let's grow all of us to be able to be that force to be reckoned with because that's what we want to do. We want to be here for you. And we want to be here in a positive, constructive, humble manner and give back to the community the medium that has been a passion for Brian and mine's life ever since we could really crawl or walk or understand and how to put a controller or a computer in our hand or a keyboard or a mouse. That's what it's about, guys. Otherwise, what the heck are we doing, right? I'm all about it. Perfectly said, Well, Beautiful. Beautiful, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.